Hello, happy Saturday. Welcome back to Little Honey Bun Style Nursery. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you're one of my regulars, welcome back. And I have my mani today to keep me company while I, while I share some of my latest haul, which are some vintage sleepers that I found on eBay and some other things that I got. And I also want to, I thought that I would put him in, is this yellow or white? I'm colorblind. <laughs> I think I will put him in this yellow for Sunshine Happy Yellow Saturday, thanks to Becca. This is one of the vintage 1960s, early 70s sleepers that I found on eBay. I found a lot. It's a, uh, it's a lot of baby uh, things pajamas and most of these are the same little pajamas that my oldest son who is 43 years old wore when he was a baby. I'm going to put this one on my mani because it's yellow for sunshine yellow Saturday. Look at this. Isn't that adorable? Little white trimmed in green. Yellow trimmed in green with a little Augie Doggie on there. <laughs> Remember Augie Doggie? <laughs> some folks will, some folks won't. Here's a little mint green. This one is for a girl because it has little rosebud buttons and a little lace around the collar. It's so pretty. Baby mint green. And I have a white one with a little baby ducky on there. <laughs> Trimmed in yellow. It has yellow sleeves. I know you remember these little pajamas. <laughs> They are so cute. I could not resist them when I saw them. And here's another one. My baby, my son had this when he was a baby. It's baby blue trimmed in white. It has white sleeves and a white collar. <laughs> That's so cute. So I'm going to really quickly get him into his pajamas, but I'm going to get him out of his sweater first. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to do a tag that I got from the wonderful world of Reboys, and it's called Happy Fall, y'all. And there's seven questions, and I wrote them down. And let me put this where I can see it. Okay, <laughs> and get him out of his sweater real quick so I can get him into his yellow pajamas for. Sunshine Happy Saturday. I'll have your Bobo. That's what we call pacifiers in my neck of the woods. Bobos. <laughs> Take off his little hat. He wore this vintage sweater set. It's handmade outside yesterday. The weather was so nice. I took him outside and my granddaughter. Just to have some fresh air. She would... I let her run and play for a while. And I took some pictures of him outside. Okay, now. The first question is in Happy Fall, y'all, is my favorite fall thing, uh, my favorite fall colors, gold and orange. I love the golden orange. I uh, I like to um, put the um, I get them from the dollar store. They're like a, a leaf reef that you roll around on the porch. You decorate the porch railings with it. And I found a new doormat that says "Hello Autumn." And yeah, I love the autumn colors. And that's number one. Number two is. What's my favorite fall drink? Well, I don't really do the uh, the pumpkin spice. I know people really like the pumpkin spice, but it's not one of my favorites. I don't particularly care for it. But what, I, what I do like is my hazelnut coffee, decaf. I uh, I don't drink too much coffee in the summertime. I only drink coffee in the winter and fall when it's chilly out. But it's always decaf because regular coffee will raise my blood pressure. So yeah, and let's see number three. Fall activity, I love to go to the pumpkin patch. <laughs> I 
Okay, number four. What's your favorite candle scent in the fall? I love the apple scented candles. Yep, I love the apple scented candles and sometimes peppermint. And I love the cinnamon scented candles. Number five. What's my favorite clothes to wear in the fall? I love sweatsuits. I don't like jeans when it's chilly or cold. For some reason, jeans just don't feel good to me when it's cold. <laughs> okay, so let me see. That's number five. Number six is, do you decorate? Yes, I do. I like to put the autumn wreath on the door. And... Like I said, I put the wreaths around the lead, the, the porch banister. I set pumpkins outside on the steps. And if I'm not mistaken, that represents the um, the coming of, uh, what is that? Uh, when they do all the picking of the uh, vegetables and things that they plant during the summertime or springtime, the apples and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, and let me see. Number seven is Halloween. What do you do? Do you prefer to go to a Halloween party or give out candy? I always give out candy. And as a kid, we always went trick-or-treating. We always had a Halloween party in school, but we always went trick-or-treating. My kids, I've always taken them trick-or-treating, but I've always also always had plenty of candy, and I've always decorated and we also did that thing called Mischief Night. I don't know if you remember Mischief Night. But in my town, the night before Halloween, it's Mischief Night. And that's when we got to be mischief. <laughs> yes, we threw eggs at buses. <laughs> and uh, it was just a night to uh, just do mischievous things. Although we never did anything bad or hurt anyone or anything like that. You know, but we mostly just threw eggs. And then we would have an egg bomb fight in the playground where we threw eggs at each other. <laughs> it was fun. And my mom knew about Mischief Night. She always let us, let us do our little thing as far as when it came to having fun as a kid. We were always allowed to do what the kids did that had fun. And I noticed that she would have an extra dozen of eggs because she knew we were coming for it. <laughs> And there's my Manny in his vintage yellow pajamas. Isn't he precious? Look at that. <laughs> That's so cute. I love the vintage. I think I have this foot on backwards or something. It just doesn't look right. <laughs> oh, okay. There it is. Okay. There you go. And this is just how my baby boy looked when he was this small. In his yellow pajamas. <laughs> That's my Manny. He is the Harlow Asleep Kit. Mmm. <laughs> okay. And now I'm going to share real quickly some other things that I've gotten. I found this on Marketplace. It's a cute little jacket for my uh, Jules, who is my Huxley Kit. And oh, another thing I got from eBay. I found Spencer's. Remember Spencer's? I found another, a, a Spencer's undershirt. Spencer's. Remember Spencer's? It's kind of hard to find anymore. I think J.C. Penney's um, and Gimbel's maybe. J.C. Penney's. Who remembers Gimbel's? Um, had, um, they carried the Spencer's line of baby clothes. Okay, and here... Are some things that I've got for my twi for my Twilight and my um, jewels. These are some long sleeve Disney undershirts, long sleeve undershirts for the fall. And this one is this has the characters from Alice in Wonderland. You can see Alice and the other characters on there from the story. <laughs> Let me see. This one has uh, the, the rabbit with the tea party. 
<laughs> and this one is pink and it's Alice and when she always says oh dear <laughs> there you go let's see is there another one oh, okay these are ones that I've got on marketplace some onesies for the girls long sleeve onesies so they're ready for the fall and winter and here's a red one I'm getting too old for this. <laughs> That's so cute. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Here's some more. More Alice in Wonderland characters. This is pink and white stripe. I think my twins can fit this. Yeah, this is for my twins. These are the 18 month size. And here's a blue one with more Alice in Wonderland characters. They're teacups and teas and little pictures of uh, tea and cupcakes or whatever that is. <laughs> it's baby blue with little darker blue characters from Alice in Wonderland. So let me see. I think, make sure these are. Yeah, if these are 18 months, these are I got for my twins, not for my, my Twyla and my. Um, Jewels because they are six to nine months. These are 18 months, so those are for my twins. These are the things that I have for Twilight and Jewel. These are six to nine month onesies. And they can go under their little overalls and their little stretchy pants, legging pants. This is pink with white polka dots and a little blue, navy blue bow. This is white with little blue and red and yellow birds on it and a little pink bow. Boy, I'm up to 11 minutes already. <laughs> okay, so there's that. I think that covers everything. So I want to thank you for joining me. And uh, this is for the questions. My Reborn Nursery. Thank you. That's the Halloween tag, um, and they have questions. And hers is, number one, have you ever played with a Ouija board? My mother had one, and I was scared to death of it. <laughs> and uh, are you superstitious? No. <clears throat> number three, what is your scariest urban legend? As a kid, it was Bloody Mary. <laughs> Four, would you ever stay in a haunted house? No. I don't believe in ghosts, but no. Unless you're going to give me a million dollars if I stay. And five... Who's your favorite monster? I don't think I have a favorite monster. But um, one of my favorite horror movies was Halloween with Michael Myers. <laughs> What's my favorite Halloween candy? Reese Cups. Not candy corns. I don't like candy corns. My grandson loves them though. And yes, I would rather go trick-or-treating than go to a party. So there's that. <coughs> so you can um, take um, uh, write down those questions. You can run the tape back, I guess. <laughs> but anyway, that covers everything. And I want to thank you for joining me and spending time with me and my nanny. And I'm working on a newborn kit, the Dominic kit from Bountiful Baby. And I hope to get started on that soon. And it's going to be my first time working with Heat Set Paints. So, I'm going to let you go. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Take care and look out for each other. Be safe out there and have a happy Halloween. Well, when it gets here. Bye-bye. <laughs>